If you've been playing Minecraft Dungeons, then you should know that there are lots of different blocks that everybody wants to see in standard Minecraft. And well, today, we have ourselves an add-on mode made by OnKid26113, which basically introduces a bunch of the different blocks that you can find across Minecraft Dungeons. And as time just go on, he is going to be introducing more and more and more blocks to the add-on, which I think that this add-on has a lot of potential for builders out there. And I definitely can see a lot of really cool creations being created up with some of these blocks. So what Onkid has done was he went ahead and made this world. And this world has four different locations to showcase how the blocks can be used in different builds. So the first place that we're going to go for is the ruined portal at the camp. So this is going to be the portal that you find at the campsite, which unfortunately you cannot use. But maybe in the future, you might be able to use this to go to the nether, maybe it's like a nether level. I mean, who knows? But this is a really cool build and I like it quite a bit. So we got ourselves some vertical stone pillars. We have ourselves some chisel stone bricks, which are already inside the game. Same thing for some brick stairs and the andesite slabs. But if you just go ahead and look at the pillars, the pillars look really cool. I kind of wish that there were pillars like this in standard Minecraft because I think it would be really cool. Especially these purple type of things because the purple texture blocks, they look fairly cool. The horizontal stone pillars. Now there's also going to be the tiles that have dirt inside of them, which I think look really cool. I kind of wish that we can actually combine dirt and stone bricks together to go and engage all these blocks. But unfortunately you cannot do that. But also there's going to be the stone tiles, which are also really cool. But anyway, that's it for this. Let's go ahead and look at the next build, which is going to be the camp. Now the camp, I think that this is one of my favorite builds. Because look how awesome this is. This goes ahead and shows you how you can use a bunch of these blocks together to make a really cool landscape. So if you just go ahead and look at the ground, you can tell this all ruined. We have ourselves some blocks that have the dirt inside of them. We looked at these earlier. There's also going to be the soil blocks. There is soil with some grass. There is soil with more grass and it just goes all the way to the standard soil grass block. Which I don't know why you introduce a soil grass block when we rare ourselves like standard grass inside the game. Probably because he wanted that to be a little bit different. I mean I, I really don't know. But it's still pretty cool. This also could be the mossy horizontal stone pillars which also look really nice. And yeah these are just cracked stone bricks. Standard ones. We've seen these a hundred times inside the game. Now, that's basically it for what we have around here, but we're going to go ahead and look at the next build, which is going to go and show you some more different types of block varieties, such as the sandy bricks and stuff like that. So it's going to be in the desert temple. So this is just going to showcase like what it would look like if you build like underneath the desert. So in the desert temple levels, there's these really cool sandy blocks. And I think it would be really nice if you had ourselves these type of bricks actually inside the game. So as you see, we have some stone bricks with some sand. The same thing goes for the chisel stone bricks right over here. But I think it's just a really cool looking block. But we're going to go ahead and move on to the final section, which is going to be Soggy Swamp. Now, inside Soggy Swamp, the grass is a little bit darker than standard Minecraft. But this area is just really simple. It's just showcasing off the grass in the soil for the swamp, which is just really nice looking. There's also going to be the dirty stone bricks. You actually cannot tell the difference between the cracked and the new stone brick blocks. But if you were to look really closely, obviously you can tell that they are a little bit different with the texturing. But anyways, is there anything behind here? No, it's just a void. But that's actually pretty much it for what we have inside this map. But we're not done yet. Because I'm going to go ahead and show you on how you can go ahead and obtain all the blocks for yourself. So you can go ahead and use it to go ahead and build your own creations. We're going to have to go ahead and type in slash gift at B and then dungeons. So as you can see, we have ourselves all the blocks right here. So you can just go ahead and find the block that you want. But in a future update, there actually will be a new function included, which I'm going to go show you really quickly. It's going to be slash function and then give all blocks. And essentially, this is just going to go ahead and be an easier way for you to obtain basically every single block that's inside the add-on. And this was a suggestion that I give the creator as well. Because I thought that this would be so much easier instead of just typing in every single command to get every single block. So this is going to be included in a future update. Now there's actually 10 blocks I did forget to show you earlier. So let's go and look at them. So we have ourselves the sand brick. So as you can see, this was the one that we saw earlier. I don't remember if the other two variants were actually in the previous place with the desert temple. I'm not entirely too sure. We also got ourselves 
the dust covered andesite. We have andesite with dust. The next one is mossy polished andesite. The mossy chiseled stone bricks, which I don't know why is not in standard Minecraft. How come we don't ever sell mossy cracked stone bricks and mossy chiseled stone bricks? Can somebody explain that? When we ever sell like mossy stone bricks, I think this needs to be a thing. But this one right here is the mossy dirty stone bricks. We also got ourselves the detailed chiseled stone tile, which I think this one looks really incredible. I like it quite a bit. I don't know why this isn't in Minecraft. I think this would be a really cool decoration piece just to use inside your builds. Now the chiseled stone, this one also looks really cool. And I think this would be a really nice detail piece as well. But with that one, that actually is it for what this add-on does introduce to us. And I really wanted to go and show you this. Because whenever it comes to micro dungeons, there are lots of really cool things. There are the mobs that I really want to see inside the game. But there's also the blocks. And the blocks would be, oh my goodness, it would be a builder's dream come true. I mean, for me, I enjoy building quite a bit. And if I actually had these blocks at my disposal, I would probably be making some really detailed things. Now, Ankit also did tell me that he's going to be adding this map to an update in the future. Just keep an eye out for the add-on update. I do want to hear your thoughts down below in the comments on we think of this add-on. And tell me, would you like to see these blocks added to actual Minecraft? If you enjoyed today's video, then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. For now, I hope you have a logical day and I will catch you next time. Bye!